Welcome back, friends. This is Wings Rule, and we are back with another video. This is going to be another war recap video. This is going to be a little bit different than the others in the past. Uh, we did face a clan that was uh, very well suited, um, really strong attackers, and uh, yeah, they they put us to the test. So let's see what happens. All right, so we lost 112 to 115. Uh, very similar um, uh, destruction percentage. Uh, honestly, um, this war really boiled down to uh, me not being able to be on a lot to kind of help people decide who they should be attacking. Um, a lot of wasted attacks, a lot of attacks on um, ill-advised bases. Um, just a few things happened during this war that uh would love to see change and uh hopefully I can get everybody in the clan to have a good look at this video and understand uh why things happened the way they did. Um so as you can see they really wrecked our top our top. Um and honestly they cleared everything below. So uh yeah, they cleared us down, they wiped us out. Um Max, you know, Town Hall t uh, tens with max troops against Town Hall nines. Not really much of a matchup. Full annihilation. So, uh, yeah, their their top guys were clutch and they came in huge. So uh, we are going to break down these uh, some of these uh, the fails and and some of the exceptional attacks. I just want to start off by saying that. Uh, uh, I'm really excited that my son has uh, has joined the clan, has uh, started up his his um, you know his his account, and and he is blazing angels. Uh, really stoked! I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show this video because uh, yeah, it, I don't know. It's you know there's a lot of circumstances behind this, but. Uh, He's learned very quickly how to defeat a base, and uh, I'm just going to show this in 2x, just to show you guys, um, you know, every attack count, okay, every attack, okay, we got 40 bases to kill, and um, without those uh, bottom, the bottom 10 or 15, um, the guys in the top 20 don't have much of a chance, so uh, yeah, you're going to see uh, basic, basic barge, um, not a whole lot of strategy involved in this, other than the fact that uh, just overpowers the base. Obviously, he he could probably go a little bit higher, and I'm sure he will for future reference. But uh, yeah, it's a learning experience at this point for him, and uh, really proud that he's doing so well. So we are going to bump that up to 4x to get through that attack. So I just uh, wanted to just wanted to start it off by showing that attack. Really solid attack. We're going to show a few really good attacks, and then we're going to move on to um, some of the fails and the reasons being. Okay, so let's check out Nick. Nick comes in on number 18 here. Dally 2, so he's clearly not, this is not his first account. Um, so he's going to lure the clan castle troops out. Here and uh, take care of some air defenses. Really strong attack. Um, honestly, there was no <laughs> there was no issue with this base at all once those air defenses were destroyed. So yeah, three lightning spells sitting in the bag and really no need to use them. Um, yeah, rock and roll. Um, just food for thought next time, Nick. Uh, drop your king over here um, by these two dragons on the uh, southeast corner there. Um, right before you drop the dragons, that will allow the dragons to distract um, some of the defenses before they start becoming under fire. Well, obviously you wouldn't probably do it over there, but you would do it over wherever there's an air attacking defense. Drop your drop your king down. Let them distract a little bit. That just buys your dragons that extra little bit of time that could be the difference in a war win. So great attack, great strategy. Nice to see uh, some good planning there. And yeah, we're going to 4x this right on through to the 3 star 100% destruction. Excellent job, Nick. I'm glad to have you back. So we are going to cruise through here. This, 
this base was a bit of a, a struggle, this base. So this was a great attack by Roe. Um, yeah, he brought in his dragons. And uh, he uses the, the Earthquake Lightning Zap on the one air defense. And then uh, utilizes the utilizes the Rage to kill the CC troops. So a really strong attack here by Roe. Um, impressive, for, uh, to say the least. Uh, this base was attacked multiple times and failed. So there goes the rage, and that's going to move those dragons into the middle of the base to get right to that air defense in the center. You're going to see there there goes the lightning and the earthquake takes out that air defense, and yeah, one dragon working on that center air defense, and that's it. Game over for that dragon attack. Very nicely done, Mr. Rowe. Pulled out something a little bit different on that one, and it worked out really well. Really, really well. Lots of time to spare in this attack. As you can tell, it was a two-minute attack as opposed to a three-minute. So, very nicely done. Uh, we're going to move into some stuff here up here. Achilles, okay. So, this attack was uh, pretty well planned. Obviously, this was not the first attack on this base. A couple of giant bombs down here in the south. Yeah, so then you're going to see the lure. Coming in from the top. And uh, you've got a barb working on the builder hut up at the top there. A little bit difficult to see. But this is uh, something that maybe we should uh, get used to doing. Maybe bringing in witches in the CC and dropping a few wizards. Um, this allows the dragon in the balloons to stay preoccupied. And the witches are going to create a substantial amount of skellies to work on the cleanup. As long as you are going to be deploying your hogs in the area where you have dropped your, your witches, they will last the entire raid. 100%. There's, there's really no reason why they wouldn't. So you're going to see the hog riders are going to float in here right now, waiting for the CC to go down. That is very key. A lot of times people get premature and uh, just a little bit over anxious and drop those hogs a little bit early. As you can see, pretty good timing and pretty good uh, placement of the, the heal spells. And uh, yeah, patience on that last heal spell. And then the, uh, the poison spell on, the, on, on this air, um, archer tower really, really paid off because those skellies that were remaining were barely even alive. And just turn around and pop, pop, they're dead. So that's game over for them. King goes down, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of cleanup happening. As you could tell from that raid, um, I forgot to, to mention the king came down in the bottom. And I'm gonna actually probably backtrack on this. We're gonna watch this attack again, and there's a reason for the king going down low. Um, as opposed to working on the cleanup from the top. So we're going to speed this right up as fast as we can. Um, 4x, we're going to bump right through here because this is key, okay? A lot of elements that happen during a raid can affect the outcome, okay? King could go up here anytime right now and not really do a whole lot of much. But as you're going to see, the king comes down. Now, look at this archer tower, preoccupied. Momentarily, this cannon is going to be preoccupied. Okay, so that's one defensive structure right here that has no desire to go anywhere near those hogs, okay? And those are point defense, okay? Point defense are going to do the most damage to hogs. Um, wizard towers do major damage, or minor damage to multiple hogs. Um, that's why I like to see the heal spells go down near the wizard towers, because they can really reduce their health, and if they jump to a giant bomb right after, they're done. That's the whole group disappeared, okay? So anyways, just food for thought. Drop that king in. I probably should have dropped the rage on the king a little early to uh, attract that cannon, but that was the plan. So nothing to write home about. We left the base um, unstarred. Uh, again, this is going to go back to uh, to some poor planning um, by, our, by our members, and there was a couple of attacks that didn't happen. Um, we're going to go into this one. This one is a pretty strong defensive base. Uh, basically, the defenses are maxed out, um, all except for this one archer tower and the air sweepers, which don't become a factor in this raid. 
So this is Goho We. You see the trickle in of these two hogs here. This was uh, designed for a reason. Um, taking out these couple of point defenses here allows the golems to want to redirect. Okay, so jump spell goes down, no fail, um, and it also allows these hogs to lure the CC a little bit earlier so that our troops don't have to get so deep into the base before they engage the CC. So yeah, you're going to see the queen's going to take out the uh, the dragon, and uh, the wizards are going to take out the dragon, and then the hog wall comes in. Basically surrounds that whole edge and decent heal spell here. This heal spell could have been placed a little bit more to the south. As you can see, uh, these hogs on, on the southeast side of this base pretty much all end up dead before this raid is complete. Um, because of the fact that that heal was misplaced a little bit leading into where the hogs were attacking at the moment as opposed to where they will be attacking. Um, but on all in all, uh, I mean, the attack went pretty well. Um, the only difference in this attack that uh, that would have changed the outcome is the time, okay? So it was a little bit close. There was only about 20 or 25 seconds remaining in this attack. But that's because, I mean, seven or eight hogs going down because, um, honestly, those, those cannons just kicked their ass. Um, and they didn't have a heal to keep them going. So 4x that, easy cleanup. Um, again, yeah, it was all about the time. So great job there. Um, kind of clutch, not really, though. I mean, honestly, the war was lost about an hour before I did this attack um, in my eyes. So we have Anastasia comes in on this, on this attack, and it's an absolute friggin' gem. So we're going to show you this. This is a Gola Loon. Really like the troop comp. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, at any rate, um, yeah, the golems go down. They go in. They wipe out two really, really huge air defense. And uh, that hound comes out of the CC, which really drags this base down. Um, you're seeing these hogs already deployed, or hounds deployed already, hunting after these air defenses that are... Uh, just waiting. You see a good lead in with the rage spell. Speed those balloons up. Get that. Get this show on the road a little bit quicker. Um, Archer Queen goes down, which isn't really an issue. Cleanup isn't really an issue when you use the lava balloon. Um, it's just not because there's just too much happening um, with the with the lava hound popping and uh, you know the pups and everything else, you know, so really good to have that uh, that haste spell there as well. Will come could come in handy on a lot of these uh, Golaloon attacks. And uh, yeah, so nothing but cleanup left. As you can see, you've got pups everywhere covering this whole south side of the base. One balloon goes to work on the town hall. It's not going to take it long to take it down. And yeah, really great attack. That was huge because that was their, uh, that was um, basically one of their toughest bases to take down. Uh, great, great attack there. So, pardon me for a second. Let's get into the good stuff. Um, this is the stuff that needs to change. Uh, this is, we're going to take a look at our, our war events, okay? So, we're going to go right to the beginning of the war. Okay, this is this is a key element of this of this loss um, is going to happen in the breakdown from the warlog. Very first attack was our number nine attacking their number ten. Now, typically that wouldn't be an issue if it was a three star strategy that was being implemented. But in truth, a go wipe attack is not a three star strategy. If you're going to do a go wipe attack. It had better be at the end of the war, and it has to be clutch going after a base that hasn't been able to get starred and needs two stars. Don't go wiping high-level bases at the start of war. Your first, our first attack can't be a two-star on, on one of their higher-level town hall aids. Our first attack should have been that go wipe on number 15, if go wipe is going to be the go-to attack in that situation. 
Um, so we're going to see, oh, let's just go through here. We're going to scroll through and you're going to see, take a look at this, 99%, two star, um, Achilles fail, GDH, 96%, one star, no town hall, um, really unfortunate. Keeper, 97%, two star, no, no, uh, no clear. Um, these are reasons why we lost this war, and there is there is things that can change to help that from not happening again. Um, faster troop deployment, uh, saving a, a wizard here and there, um, just a couple of things had to go different during the war. We had some really great defenses um, and some really strong attacks. I'm not I'm not uh, taking away anything from any of our members because. Everybody actually did uh, fairly good attacks this war. It's just they were just a little bit short of what we needed to uh, to seal the deal on the win. Look at this. Okay, so where are we here? Okay, so we have Steelman two star on uh, number three. Again, you know what? Ninety percent. Really unfortunate that that didn't turn into a three star uh, duplicate attack on that same base. Maybe ill advised. It was a great attack, but necessarily something that needed to happen at that point in the war. Maybe not. Um, great attack here by Elvin ended in 96%. Um, again, you see 89% uh, two star by Dark Knight. Um, that's not going to get it done. Um, all of these real close. You know, sooner or later, these are going to come together. George, great attack on number one. Hits him for 56%. Stilo, great attack on number two. Hits him for uh, 52%. And here it starts to get a little bit sketchy. Uh, ben had a fail on number 12 as well. Um, but Roll cleared, cleared that up. This was, uh, this was my fail. And I'm going to post this. I'm going to show this because this is what happens. A um, little bit sloppy. Um, really, I only have to show just about the first 30 seconds of this raid. Everything was going exactly according to plan. Um, distracted defenses. Wizards creating the funnel. Um, and then here it goes nasty. Jump spell. Fail. Doesn't reach the outside wall. That is a fail. 100%. There's no way to get. There's no way to get to the queen. There's no way to do anything in this base because of that um, complacency on the placement. So that's my fail. Um, unfortunate, but it is. It is what it is. So um, we're going to go back to the war events here, and then um, we're going to track in and see where things kind of went a little bit south. Um, this attack did not go according to plan by PC. That cost. Um, George, this attack against number two, he maybe should have been against number five, who had no stars, or eight that had no stars, or six that had one star. Uh, but it happens. It happens, you know what? We make judgment calls sometimes, and uh, they're they're not right. Um, really, you know, like we were winning a war by around ten at that point, and uh, yeah, it was just accidental or just you know just a bad judgment call, and that's what turned this this war upside down. Um, so another thing, if we're gonna join a war, please do our attacks. Um, Elvin had a great attack on his first attack, but he did not do his second, which would have been clutch. Um, with his attack and George attacking five, it would have opened the door for eight to go down by yours truly. And uh, and uh, Cat having an opportunity to attack at lower base, uh, say maybe 15. But it didn't happen that way, and we did end up getting a loss. And that is why. Okay, so we did have some good attacks. Um, we had some bad fails. 
we're going to basically move on from this war and we're going to try and, and keep a little bit more structure. Stay within your range, okay? I know everybody wants to hit the hardest bases and honestly, we need to take care of all the bases. We need to take care of the 15s and the 16s and the 12s as much as we need to take care of the 8s, the 9s, the 10s, uh, the 5s, the 6s. They all count, okay? So um, that's 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 the key here. If they've got a two star on there, let's go after something a little bit lower, just to make sure that we can clear all those bases. We've been really good in the past with wiping out everything, and then only having the top five to deal with. This war was not such such a, a success story on that front, as you can see. Um, we left some bases untouched. We left uh, seven. Not even you know. Seven wasn't even really challenged. Uh, eight, not even touched. Uh, you know, cat tried, but this is the thing about cooking dragons. I mean, if, you, if you're not planning an attack on a base because you know that that's the base you're going to be hitting, I mean, you can't you can't do that two hours before the end of war. You can't have a, a group full of dragons cooked to attack a base if you haven't even spoken to anybody about what, what base you should be attacking. And anyways, at any rate, um, everybody has done absolutely remarkably. It's just this war did not pan out. Uh, these are a few things that we just need to work on. Um, GDH had two really good attacks, as you saw, 96, 90, or 99 and 94 percent. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, working on the new go whole we for the Town Hall 8, so uh, really, really pleased to see. I can see that attack coming around for you very soon. Um, yeah, all our lower members, uh, Ro, Insane, uh, Nick, uh, I don't know, I can't even, right now I've just been talking forever, so uh, anyways, this was a loss. We're going to jump back, we're going to look into the next war, it's going to be tough. But we are up for the challenge. Wings rule. Keep flashing. <laughs>